What is up? How are you today? Steve here, and in this video, I'm going to be answering some of your mindset questions. So let's get into it. Before we get into this, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. And if you're not new here, you know this is Mindset on the Move. But Steve, you're not moving. Well... There, I did some movement. Now let's just do the mindset part. So for this week, I set up a profile on Quora, a question answering website. On Quora, people can reach out to other people asking questions about pretty much anything. So I centered my profile around fitness. Now I had people directly request my answer to things, and I went on and found some questions that I thought I could answer as well. So in this video and for this week, I'm going to be answering those questions from Cora. Because it's mindset on the move, I'm going to be answering mindset focused questions today. I'll probably do workout questions on Wednesday and hopefully food questions on Friday. So without further ado, most questions that I got asked were to do with time. How fast you could do something, how fast you could achieve a goal. People looking for quick fixes with fitness. People saying things like, how can I get abs in a few weeks or two weeks? People looking to gain muscle in a month or a couple of months. Or people wondering how long it would take to do certain things. Now I'm not going to directly answer these questions, they were quite specific in what they were asking for. But I'm going to look at the topic of time and expectation. When you're starting out any sort of fitness journey, it's important that you don't put a time limit or an expectation on it. So that you're not saying, I need a quick fix, I want abs in two weeks, or I want to lose this much weight in three weeks, or you're asking people on the internet, like on Cora, how long will it take for me to get from here to here? As I've said in some of my other mindset videos, like the one on consistency, it's more important to focus on what you do every day rather than how long that will take. A lot of times, if I'm looking at like a 12 week cut or a 24 week bulk or a six month long bulk, it can be very, very intimidating. And you can become disheartened when you don't see the results you want fast or in whatever, two or three weeks. And a lot of people expect results way too soon and end up letting themselves down and quitting. So if you're asking questions like, how long will it take me to get this? Or how fast can I get abs? Or how can I get abs in like three days? You should probably reconsider what you actually want to achieve and kind of bring down your expectations so that you're not disappointed when you don't get abs in two weeks or you don't get abs in a month. In reality, these fitness transformations take a long time. People can get amazing results in 10, 12, 15 weeks, but there's no one who's ever just woken up one day, went, I need to get abs this week and then done it by Friday. It doesn't work like that. The next question I got asked was quite a long one about calorie intake, fitness strategies and more dietary side of things. The main part of this question that I want to answer in this video is how to stay motivated or any suggestions on how to stay motivated. I'm by no means an expert in motivation. I am a lazy, lazy person sometimes. You can see behind me I have my whiteboard where I plan things and I kind of get through things throughout the day or day by day and I think Staying motivated is a challenge for everyone, including myself. So I use things like the whiteboards to plan and then tick off little boxes throughout the day. And once I see myself achieving little things, it kind of keeps me motivated. So I know if I need to get six things done in a day, I get those things done, I feel pretty good about it and I just move on to the next day. When you complete little tasks every single day, they become bigger tasks through the week and then it turns into months. Your progress just grows over time. And I think for me and anyone who has lost weight or gained muscle or anything who actually achieved a fitness goal, staying motivated isn't the end of the world because once you've seen the results, you just want more. You become hungrier for more results, better results. You want to get fitter, you want to get faster, you want to get stronger. So to return to this question in particular, when you've set your calorie goals, when you've started losing weight, you'll become more motivated. Once you see over 12, 14, 16 weeks, your weight start to drop and your physique start to improve, you're gonna get a burst of motivation, you're gonna be pushed to keep going. You may not need to consciously make efforts or do things to stay motivated, but you will continue to be motivated by your progress. The next question kinda of concerned me, so let's just get serious for a minute. I unfortunately see a lot of questions like this, and they refer to, you know, people starving themselves or fasting or looking again for quick fixes to weight loss. There's no quick way to do it. Starving yourself will not help. Especially like the person in this question, if you're a young girl out there and you want to lose weight fast for whatever reason, do not starve yourself. Do not starve yourself. There is a much bigger mindset issue with this than 
a dietary issue. Yes, you can eat less calories to lose weight. Yes, you can reduce your fat intake or carb intake, but things like starving yourself won't get you the results you're after. I think the mindset part of this is that quick fix mentality, like the dude who asked me earlier how to get abs in two weeks or how can I get a six pack fast. It's the same with young adults, teenagers, boys and girls who don't want to put in the work over a year or two years of time. It seems like too long a time span for them. And they go looking for quick fixes. They stumble upon dangerous diets like starving yourself. That's just silly. Don't do things like that. A calorie deficit works. Less calories will make you lose weight. But that only works to a point. If you are lower than 500 calories below your TDEE, you are in an unhealthy level of a deficit. You need to keep your deficit in and around 200 to 500 calories for optimum weight loss. If you go below this, you start experiencing health problems, you're losing weight too fast, and a lot of your weight loss will be muscle mass. Your body's gonna go into survival mode and it's going to actually keep the fat rather than losing it. Your body's literally like, why would I get rid of fat? That's keeping me warm. It's caveman stuff. So if you starve yourself for a month, like this person asks in the question, yes, you will lose weight, but the longer you maintain that severe deficit, the more health problems you'll have. You won't lose weight in a healthy way. You won't lose it in a controlled way. You'll become sick, your body will go into survival mode. You'll actually retain fat rather than losing it, and you may just lose muscle mass. Calorie deficits work within that window, around 200 to 500 below your TDEE. This literally means if your TDEE is 2,000 calories, your lowest possible deficit you should be at is 1,500 calories. If you're going lower than that, you're in the danger zone. Keep your deficit controlled and maintain it over time. Don't stop eating, don't starve yourself. These are just silly, silly things to do. Attempting diets like that will affect your physical and mental well-being, and they won't get you the results you're after. Favorite question of the day? This one. I'm a big fan of energy drinks, and dude, if you drink it, you're gonna die. That's, that's just what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Instant death. No, nothing's gonna happen. Have a Red Bull, have a monster, go nuts. Obviously don't have like a case of six of them. Have one, see what you think. Once a week, once a month, you, you'll be fine. There's no real negative side effects. So this guy's girlfriend can deadlift more than him. Fair play to that girl. Awesome, good job. Should you look into testosterone supplements? No, absolutely not. Just because your girlfriend's stronger at you at deadlifts does not mean you're less of a man. Masculinity is a huge mindset issue that I think especially Irish lads suffer with. It's kind of in our culture to be manly, farmer, GAA heads, and anytime we feel threatened in our masculinity, it kind of, there's a little bit of a panic element. This guy looking at testosterone supplements just because his girlfriend lifts more than him? That's a, that's a bigger issue there. She can live more than you. So what? It's not a testosterone deficiency in your part. You just need to keep training. You'll catch up with her. You'll pass her out. You may never pass her out. She just could be stronger than you. Fair play to her. More power to her. I hope she can bench press more than you as well. Just give you a reason to work harder. If I met a girl who could deadlift more than me, I'd be impressed. I'd love to talk to her about technique and all sorts of other things. I wouldn't be threatened in my masculinity. And I think that's a kind of more progressive mindset that people need to take on. If a girl is better at you than something, fair play to her. If a guy is better than you at something, fair play to him. It doesn't matter your gender. It doesn't particularly matter in terms of gender, testosterone, any hormone imbalances, anything like that. She can literally just live more than you. Hit the gym. Work harder. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A style video. I'm going to be doing more of these for Workout Wednesday and Food Friday this week. I know I didn't put out a Food Friday video last week, but I put out a vlog instead, so I still hit my three video a week target. As the weeks go on and we kind of head towards a new normal here in Ireland, I'm going to be trying my best to keep up with three videos a week. If I miss some here and there, I'll just make it up some other time. It's not the end of the world. I'm just starting out on YouTube. There's nobody going to start crying. The 13-year-old kid who's having a monster right now won't have a heart attack. The world won't end. It's already in a pandemic. Like, I'll try, I'll try my best to hit the three videos. If I don't, look life you know life if you want to get involved in the q a this week i'll be taking some of my questions from cora or if i get any good questions on my instagram account which i will link here i will add those questions in as well so follow the instagram keep an eye on the stories if i put up a q a post hit me up 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.